Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hope you guys are all well. So um, I'm on my way to Neerhof to the horse trader to grab myself a horse. Right, I've bought a horse and I've kitted it out. I've got a lovely little saddle bag on it and, and his name's called El Barak. Right, so looking at the journal now, I was thinking about doing this questions and answers quest. So why were why we were battling in Previous another gang of bandits attacked Merhojad. However, the villagers not only held off the raiders, but even took one captive. Sir Radzig wants me to interrogate him. Okay, so I'm, I've got to interrogate this bandit. Let's go there and interrogate him. Right, we're here now in um, Merhojad, whatever it's called. So we have to find interrogate the captive. I'm at your service tonight. Uh, what happened here? What's happened here? Things are bad, very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands, barely come out of that alive, and now the plague. Oh, the plague! Plague, you say? Indeed, so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It, it's a gruesome oh. sight. That's a different quest. Okay. Um, okay, I need to know about the captive, but let's... Who attacked you? Who attacked you? I don't know. Some bandits. Ever since Scalitz was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. Well, we'll sort them out. We'll do it. Did you put up a fight? Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Well done, well Once done. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills, he handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail, and we ambushed the bastards. Good, good, good on, on you. you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young Straw. Something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Young Straw? Who are Melikar and Straw? Who are Melikar and Straw? <sighs> That's right. You're not from round here, are you? No. Melikar's the one looking after things round here now. Before that, it was down to Smill from the Neuf Stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or right, okay. was, I should say. The bandit saw to that. The old man isn't taking it well. Tell me about the plague. Tell me more about this plague. It sounds terrible. Worse than you can imagine. The old stud. Livestock, sheep, chickens, all dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melikar's old woman's well, jump to, to conclusions. Bed. And it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother, oh, more and more. I'm sorry to hear it. I heard something about a captive, which is what we're here I heard for. the bandits didn't get very far here, though. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross and woke the whole village. We even captured one. He's tied up now at Melikar's place. But then the disease came. Questions and answers. So we still have to find this uh, fella. What's this cross on it? Is this the plague, people? No, you're not allowed inside. Oh. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. Talk to Melikar? Is this where the captive is? I am honoured that you should come to me. I want to talk to the captive. I need to talk to that captive. Sorry, no one's allowed inside. Melikar's orders. I'm Sir Radzig's envoy. But I'm Sir Radzig Cobbler's envoy, and I urgently need to question the captive. I don't care if you're the Pope's envoy. I can't let you in. If you want to talk to the captive, you have to get permission from Melikar. Yeah, all right. Lord, I... watch over you. Right, let's find this Melikar then, shall we? Who are you? You Melikar? Oh, you're Melikar. Are you Melikar? Looking for you. Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. Yeah. And Saradze won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. 
Okay, I'll sort the plague out after this this uh, quest I'm currently on. So Razdix knows nothing of the plague. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Radzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Okay, all right, I'll go to the monastery. Very well, I'll go I to the monastery. You. It's probably our best hope. Thank you, at least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Good luck. Right, so that's what those crosses are for then. So have a word with Johanka. We've done that. Oh no, that's what we got to do. And investigate the plague. So we are doing that quest now then. Right, so it looks like now we just have to go to this pest pestilence quest. Right, so let's go to these houses with the, um, the crosses on them. What's this dude here? Horse trader. Where's the guy asleep here? Oh, it's Matthias. Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, many, Matthias. Many tasks I'm on. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, you could put it that way. Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbours have been reduced to begging. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Focus saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Okay, I'm just trying to think where Matthias was from. Was he from the starting, the starting group of lads at Scalitz? Maybe? Right, so how are you? Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Let's ask about the sickness. About this sickness. When did this plague When did this plague start? start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. Oh, what are the signs? What are the signs that someone's getting sick? I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba. Although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way... The animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Right, okay, thank you, Matthias. So I guess we still need to look for these villagers. Um, and look for the ones with the cross on. Here we go. Can't see? What? Have you come for my wife? No. You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, ah. don't you know? Straw, you've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife, you bastard. What? I've come to help your wife. Oh, I've got a speech. You can't see it, guys. I've got ten and he's got ten. So I'm going to have to say, calm down, Straw. Aggressively. Calm down, Straw. You're telling me to calm down. Why the fuck should I be calm? Because if you don't calm down, I'll Fail. make you regret it. Oh, now we're talking. 
Come on, then, you bastard! No, no, Come no. On. I didn't want to fight you. Oh, God. You're gonna cry now? I didn't want to fight with you. I should have won this. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't want to fight you. Kunda. Kunda? What does that mean? Now you're. Sounds like a different <laughs> word. Oof. Right in the face. Come on, just talk to me. Right, he's done okay. Right, okay, I didn't want to knock you out. Talk. Don't speak to me. <laughs> he's not happy now. I just want to Stay talk. Right, okay, let's talk to the wife then. That's lock picked. Locked, shall I say? Inspect. Hmm. Fever. Christ Almighty. Just like Melchar's wife. I can't stand it anymore. Okay, is that it? Okay. Let's look for another door then. That didn't really help much, did it? Aha! Another door here. Oh, this, oh, who was this? Vincent. Hello, Vincent. Jesus, lad. What are you doing here? Can't you see the play cross on the door? I'm here because of it. The monastery mm. sent me to help. God bless you, boy. It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Raving? Is there anything else? Apart from the fever? Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. Oh, that's the worst. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favour to ask. Okay, what do you need? So tell me. I need to write my will. Can no. you write? Please end. This. Yeah, I can. Please. Look, I no can get you a. Suffering. I might manage that. So I'll get you some help. Excellent. Jump the gun. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed, do bequeath my estate and all my worldly goods to my wife Wilma. If my wife were to pass oh, away agony. with me. Mm hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh, oh. at this time the cobbler in Yanovitz. In no event shall my prodigal son Elia, Mama. the layabout and good for right, nothing, right, inherit down. a single groschen, all customs and traditions aside. Um, should I write that too? Yes, and then write, the executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian. Presently, the parish priest at the Church of St. Martin in Sasso. Anything else? This will was written down by. What is your name? Henry. Henry. Son of Henry. Presently in field, he's a Mary, mother of God. Well, I never. I can't that will add some weight. Pain. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Okay, so you got a will. So take the will to Sasso Parish Mama. Priest. Mama. So this is another quest, is it? Or is it the same one? What did your son do? Your son Elijah. What did he do to you? Christ Almighty. Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? <sighs> Everything. He was to be married, and instead he ransacked the house and ran off. The little fucker. Last we heard, he was some jackhand in Sasso. Boozing, playing dice, lying and cheating for a living. Such a disgrace. Okay. Where can I find Father Fabian? Where can I find Father Fabian? Well, where do you think? In St. Martin's Church, of course. All right, okay, I'll be going then. He's a bit rude. All right, I'll head off then. Yes, go now. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be? Right, okay, so we've got a few quests now. We've got, we got a Last Will and Testament. We'll do that one later. Let's just do the Pestilence first. 
Uh, maybe some drinking water. That's all I can think of. That's what I would have. That's what I would be checking. Is the drinking water? Oh, another one here. I don't believe that I've been in this one. Daniel, a good day. Brother, dearest brother, is that you? Um. Yes, I am your brother. Yes, it's me, your um, brother. I found it's nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fair. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait, you're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother, lock the door. They're back again. Please, God, no. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me. I'm your brother. I was gone for a long time. I've come back home for Advent, remember? Yes, uh, uh, yes. I remember. Give me a drink of water, brother. Oh, I'm thirsty. Terribly thirsty. I feel like I'm burning in hell. I can drink a pitcher of water and right away I'm parched again. Good luck to you. Br brother, are, are you here? Right, another door. Do I go in this door? I think the door is locked. Oh, who's this? Bedrishka? Who are you? Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? Well, not for ages. I didn't know. Um, I'm here to help. My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Anthony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. Oh, is he dead? He's dead. And Malikar oh, said the dead should be buried at once. Of course I'll help you. Um, tell me what was wrong with him and I'll help you. Tell me first. I need to go around other infected houses too. But then I'll be back and I'll help you. Thank you. But please do come back. I can't do it alone. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like it had been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. It must have hurt terribly. Thank you. Okay, so we best get the plague in Merhajad. We've got to dig a grave. Christ, but this old chap. Such a senseless waste. Yes, it was, wasn't it? So here we go, dig a grave. Um, right, let's do that. Right, I'm, I've dug your grave for you. Pick him, <laughs> grab the body. Okay. Oh, he's heavy. Is she coming with me? Yeah, she is. Right, I'm out of breath here. Right, should I just chuck him in or what? Or bury? God, grant his soul eternal rest. I'll be praised. Is that it? So we got to go to Sasau then. Where's Sasso? Over here. Um, have a word with Johanka at the monastery. Okay, we'll do that. See you at Sasso Monastery. Here we are at the monastery. I did actually stay in the village for a, a bit of a sleepover though. It was getting a bit late. So I've got yeah. to speak to this um, Johankonk, Johankonk, whatever her name is. Where is she then? Is she up here somewhere? she in here? There she is. Johanka, that's your name. Johanka? Johanka, Johanka. Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Not right now. Matthias sent me. We know her? Matthias? My god, did something happen? Yeah. Got all these complicated words. Merhoshed was raided and there's a plague there. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Merhoyed. Oh God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. 
Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. Oh. How awful. Yes. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. Okay. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Okay, Very Brother well. Nicodemus. I'll try to find him. Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. Okay, so have a word with Johanka. Done that one. Johanka. Now, Brother Nicodemus. <laughs> oh, is he just in here? That's handy. Please. Oh, he's just... Whoa, hang on. What's all this? I see lots of dead people. Oh. Oh, he was, he was just... Oh. He's just here. Right, Brother Nicodemus. There's... Oh, training? What training does he do? Let's have a look. Oh, alchemy. Right, there's a plague outbreak. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Johanka said that you might be able to advise. Yeah, get a the disease, fuck out of that you say? How intriguing. Intriguing? It's horrible. Intriguing? It's terrifying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound uncaring. All right. The important thing is whether you can help us. I can't say at this point. I, can't I need to find again. out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? Not the whole village. Oh, about half the houses. No, I mean, not yet. Several households have around half the village. Mehoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? See, I Did think it's a drinking water. Too? Yes, there's a stud farm. All the animals died. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. Uh, sorry, I mean to say it's most unusual. Do you know the symptoms? Yes. Stuff coming out both ends. Um, yes, I know. Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Yes, I can read. Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. The scriptorium? Okay, where do we start? So, where should we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? Digestive tract. The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arse. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Cygnus Causa. What? It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue, so you can still be of use. Right. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. Right. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae and Galen's Magnum Opus. Canon Medicinae? Medicinalis. Good luck to you. Let's look at these books then. Excuse me, brother. Hmm. Right, what am I looking for? Is it there or what? Oh, read. Oh, what's that on the wall? Right, read. It's here. Breverium de Cygnus Cursus. How to recognise elements by means of humours and fluids. It is known that the body... Ever can it be? Febris e causa... Can you be quiet, e brother? I'm trying to read here. It is known that the body of a man is composed of four humours. Blood, yellow bile, black bile and felgum. If these are in balance, the person is it hale and healthy. Here somewhere. Brother, can you be quiet? But if there is an excess of one, it swamps the body, disturbs the equilibrium, and leads to ailments or even death. Oh, God. How many pages are there? No, probably not. Read this one. This is important. But there are also other ways in which the inner humours are disturbed and the blood weakened. One such is by poisoning, which is manifested by fever and delirium, stomachache, bringing convulsions, diarrhoea, and great thirst. If a person is poisoned by gas, for example, in mines, near swamps or similar places, 
there often appears on him a rash around the nose and mouth. However, this rash does not occur if the poison is ingested through food consumed. Poisoning is not transmitted between humans or animals, but if they all drink, for instance, for example, from the same source of water, then people are inflicted as well as animals. The latter often. It's got to be that one. A peculiar case. What the hell do you think you're doing, hurting what? people like that? We won't put up with violent brutes here. What you Is about? that clear? This definitely won't come cheap. You what alone, crime doesn't pay. What did I do? A peculiar case. What did I do? So after reading that interesting book, I've come to the assumption that it is poisoning, and it's poison of the, of the well. Brother Nicodemus, I know what ails them. I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? Poisoning. Poisoning from water. It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. Okay, I can help. I could help with that. Can I? Really? Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. You don't, Henry. You An don't. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Yeah, yeah, I Excellent. Don't. I pressed the wrong one. I'll give you the recipe. Oh, and God. you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. Oh. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to... Uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. Oh, yes. Merhoyed. I'll take your hanker with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. Okay, I need you to cure the captive first. Let's do that. There's one man there who needs your care more urgently than anyone. He's an important witness in the investigation of some murders. Out of the question. I shall spend time with the sick in order of their medical needs, not your worldly needs. Right then, so uh, we stupidly said we would make this medicine ourselves, and I've never used an alchemy bench before. So what the bloody hell do we do? Please help me. Ah, this is the um, remedy here then. So mechahet remedy, recipe for the healing potion that should cure the afflicted mechahet villagers. Prepare clean water. One handful of valerian. Oh, I'll get two thistle and some charcoal. Drop the thistle in the cauldron and boil for two turns. Please what? Help me. Add the valerian and boil for one more turn. Leave to cool. Finally, add the charcoal, but do not boil. Oh, no. I'm going to have to take a photograph of this, guys. That's <laughs> why so I remember it. So, prepare water. All right? Prepare water. Is there water in there? Right, so we know we put two. Th so we want to put two. Th drop the two thistle. We use. Put that in there. One. And another thistle. So two thistles. Um, drop the drop the thistle in the cauldron and boil for two turns. Okay, so I got to go bellows and then sand glass. So let's go this up. Is it boiling yet? No. Same glass. We're looking at the same glass still. It's nearly ended. Let's turn it around again. Sleep again. Still boiling. And then it says, according to my phone, add the valerian aboard for one more turn. Right? And then leave to cool. So add some valerian. Right. Do the same glass. And then bellows was Q. So boil for one turn. Right. And then it says allow to cool. And then finally add the charcoal, but do not boil. So allow that to cool down. 
Um, right, it's called down now. Is that called down? Can't stay here. Is that called down? Right, it's had the charcoal then. Have I made it? Do I get a file? Do I use it? I've done it. Please. Didn't like that. Right, we're back here now in Mehati. Um, we need to go and see the brother. Was it Academius? Where is he gone? Right, let's go. Let's go in there. Oh, here we go. Talk to him. Uh, How are things looking here? So then, here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes. Yes. Here it is. I'll take four Made doses. Up. You take the rest and let's split up. I'll see to the uh -huh. straw family while you deal yeah, with Melikar's wife and the rest. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes, to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. Let yeah, him die, but only after I've questioned him. I help them. They have to let me see him. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, I found the locals to be rather stubborn. Mother of God, I can't bear the pain. Right, okay, lovely. So let's keep going. I love this background music. Whoa. Right, Malakar, here. I brought you help. Will you let me see the captive? Let's see. I found out what caused the ailment. We found out what could be the cause of the affliction. You're and? well, I think. You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. So I knew it was It'd be hard to poison the start? spring, but what about the well? Good Lord, that's difficult to believe. Well, I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young straw. The fucking bastards! Okay, I brought you help. I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, whether I've anything? managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so, just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Don't fret about that, Melikar. A thing like that would have scared anybody. Just take care of, um... What is your wife's name? Hannah. Hannah? So, take good care of her. Now open up that shed. Farewell. Hannah is a name that can be read both ways, from the back to front or front to back. And it'll still spell the same. Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy. You have hands of gold. Pure gold, my boy. God bless you. Brother... Is that you? We have to hitch up the sled. Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water, brother? It is. Drink some and give it to the others in the house too. Brother Nicodemus will come to check on you. Here we are, You're bed. back? Yeah, I'm back. Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above. Thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, good Samaritan. Oh, right, okay. Give the cure to the sick. Uh -huh. Yeah, can he? Wait until the situation clears up. Right, okay. That was silly. I just had to inspect again to clear that quest. So just wait. How long for? What does it say? I gave the remedy to the sick and brother Nicodemus. But to wait at least a day. Hello, Malakar. My respects to you. How are we looking? How's it looking, Malakar? I'm glad to see you, Henry. I'd like to thank you again. No Everyone worries. is cured. Excellent. It's nothing short of a miracle. Wow. Oh, that's a relief. You've suffered enough. 
We've all suffered enough. God's truth. You know, the folk here are truly grateful. They'd have you and Nicodemus canonized if they could. Canonized? They brought me gifts for the two of you. I wasn't keen on the idea at first. We're not left with much since the livestock died. But since you're here... What you got me? What you got me? What you got me? Oh, I got achievement. Plague Doctor. Uh, what do I get? New point point in strength. Do you know what? Your need is greater than mine. No, no. I can't possibly accept that. Give it all back, Melikar. With my thanks. That's kind of you. I'm mm. glad you appreciate our situation. Yes. Things are tough, all right. I understand. I'm just glad everything turned out well. So am I, lad. So am I. Take care now. Right, so that's quest done. That's quest finally done. So I did actually come here to do the questions and answers one. But on the next episode, I just got to do this last will and testament from, um, I forgot his guy, Vincent was it? Um, and then I'll carry on with the questions and answers uh, as well because they're both here. So, well, the guys, hope you've uh, enjoyed that episode. I'm going to get on with editing it and getting it out to you guys. So, uh, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.